my name is Robert and I'm making this video to demonstrate to you that I have successfully configured a powerful laptop computer to properly run the Mach 3 mil software and this computer coupled with the software can run your industrial machinery. I had a guy from Pennsylvania contact me and let me know that he was having issues with one of his computers and he said that you know he needed a computer that had a parallel port and I explained to him that I had a couple of laptop computers that had parallel ports that he could probably use. He then proclaimed that it was not possible to run his software and his machinery off of a laptop. I asked him why. We had some discussion. So I configured three powerful laptops that have a built-in parallel port to run the Mach 3 software successfully and uh, run his industrial machinery uh, successfully. He uses his machines to manufacture bolts, cut metal, different things like that and I shipped him a couple of the computers he's used them for several months or maybe a year or so with absolutely no issues at all he was so pleased with the way the computer performed his partner now has one and he did not need this one so I'm demonstrating to you that this powerful laptop computer is more than capable of running the Mach 3 mil software now, as I explained, the computer does have a built-in parallel port, which I'm going to show you. It also has several other features that makes it a nice laptop, regardless of if you use it for the Mach 3 mil uh, program or not. Uh, it has, as you can see on the front, a place for a headphone jack and a mic. It has volume control and DVD control buttons on the front of it. It has a nice layout and the screen is somewhere around 15.1 inches. Very vibrant screen. As you can see, it has the capability of hooking up an external monitor to it. So I went on ahead and did that. And I'll go ahead and show you the uh, ports on the back. I've also played DVDs with this machine and the machine ran on the battery for about three and a half hours uh, running DVDs. So it's a very powerful uh, laptop. Mach 3 mil, the last time I checked their system requirements, they recommended at least a one gigahertz processor in your desktop computer. They recommended it have a, a, a parallel port or you'd have to get some external switches and boxes for that. They recommended you have 512 RAM. Well, this one has a uh, their recommendation was a, a 1 gigahertz processor. This computer has a 1.4 gigahertz processor that performs equivalent to a 2.8 gigahertz processor. Instead of the recommended 512 of megabytes of RAM, this computer has twice that. It has a gig of RAM. So, uh, they also recommend that if you run in Windows XP, you run it on Windows XP Professional. I configured one of the guy in Pittsburgh machines to run on XP Professional and the other one to run on XP Home. Both machines was capable of running the software and his equipment with no glitches at all. Now the real difference between Windows XP Pro and Windows XP Home is just a couple of network uh, situations which is not necessary for running Mach 3 mil and or your industrial equipment. So anyway let me move the webcam to show you that it has the ports you need specifically the parallel port going to the back of the computer and as you can see back there uh, the first thing on this end of the computer is the cooling fan I move over a little bit, you see a port for a phone jack, it has a built-in modem, it has a little locking port, it has a serial bus, 
It has the USB 2 port that the mouse is plugged into. It has a monitor, external monitor hookup. Then you see the parallel port. You see the Ethernet cable. You see the FireWire port, two more USB ports, and the power cord. The power cord on this computer is new. The uh, hard drive on this computer is relatively new. The uh, RAM in this computer has been upgraded and is relatively new. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the Mach 3 mil software so you can see that it loads pretty quick for a laptop. And then I'll go to a couple of the screens, especially the one that shows you the pulse rate on it. So that's the main screen on it. When I zoom in, my webcam here doesn't give a very clear picture, but it's clear enough for you to see the uh, readings and settings on it, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the screen that shows the pulse rate. And here you are. You see the pulse rate right now is 25,387. And it fluctuates a little bit here and there. The lowest that I've seen it is 25,300. And 51, uh, unless you run some very heavy software. Right now, I have a web browser up. It just fluctuated down to 25,361, mainly because I have that website up open. And I'm going to show you that these, uh, this monitor is connected to this laptop. So, I can drag it from this screen over to this external monitor and it still has the 25,387 pulse. I'm going to move it back over here. Now I'm also going to go down here and show you that I do have a website open. It has a wireless network connected to it. You see the website open over there, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit on the, hopefully you can see the pulse rate on the laptop. My uh, other laptop isn't running as smooth as that one is. I hope that light lets you see that pulse rate. I'm going to bring that other uh, screen down so that it's in your view. And I'm going to play a YouTube video so that you can see this YouTube video while watching your pulse rate. The YouTube video is playing and the pulse rate is holding steady at 25,387. It fluctuated down to 25,362 uh, and it still is holding steady. Now I'm going to go ahead while that YouTube video is playing I'm going to go ahead and open up a uh, another program called Microsoft Word. I'm going to go over here with the mouse, click Start, click Microsoft Word, and I'm going to watch the pulse rate for you. Microsoft Word open on the other screen, as you can see, and the pulse rate did not fluctuate at all. The pulse rate is still holding steady. At 25,387. I'm going to zoom that in. Hopefully, it'll be clear enough for you to see. 25,387 pulse rate. Uh, it just fluctuated a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and hit save on this Microsoft Office Word <clears throat> document. And I'm going to watch the pulse rate and read the dropped off setting for you. When I save that file, I'm going to hit save. It's at 25,387. And it remained at 25,387. It didn't even fluctuate. I'm going to close the program over here, this Microsoft Word. 
and you can still see the YouTube video going and it's still at 25387 and I'm going to zoom in one more time so that you can see that this laptop computer is still running the Mach 3 mil uh, software. I'm going to click on a different video and see if it fluctuates at all. You see it move to 25385. Another YouTube video is about to kick in. And you hear the Gabby Gifford YouTube video going. I'm going to close that internet browser. And you see the pulse rate fluctuated very little. So there you have it. A laptop successfully running the uh, Mach 3 mil software. Uh, I'm willing to stand behind this computer for as long as you need me to as far as service and repairs on it uh, with the newer hard drive it has the newer RAM the new power cord this computer should last you uh, no problems three years I'm thinking uh, I'll give you a 30-day uh, money-back guarantee on it as long as you don't drop it run it over with your car or some physical damage on it I'll repair it or replace it or give you your money back but again like I said I built this computer for a guy in Pittsburgh and he was successfully running the software and the equipment on this computer so if you have any questions feel free to call me my phone number is 501-351-6466 uh, again my phone number is 501-351-6466 and if you need me to connect you to the guy in Pennsylvania that's running this uh, computer software and his industrial uh, machinery off of it, I'll be sure to connect you with him as well. Thank you very much. Uh, bid with confidence.